everyone welcome back to a new video so i've got some madam glam colors that i'm going to be doing a set with today i i chose bright colors because i thought we need we all need a bit of cheering up i've also got rosy nude which is going to be the base color of our nails so i've got five nail tips on my little tip holder my people ask me all the time where do you get your tips from i made a video on this because <laughs> I get, you know, it's I, honestly, I hear it all the time and it's a question that drives me mad. But I just buy cheap stiletto tips from eBay or AliExpress. Um, and yeah, I just try and find the most tips for the cheapest price because it's you, you can get them cheaper if you buy like a like in bulk. So I usually end up getting like a pack of 500 for, I don't know, about five or six quid. I remember back in the day, not back in the day, but not so long ago, you used to be able to get about 500 for about three quid, but not anymore. I know it doesn't matter, they're still pretty cheap. So I've put two coats of Rosy Nude on the nails. I've cured each coat for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. Um, I'm going to be using my Blooming Gel, the uh, the Madam, uh, Madam Glam Blooming Gel. Um, I've also got Kiss on the Cheek. I have got Baby Nest. It's really pretty pink. Wow, it's really vibrant. I've got Neon Sun, which is this gorgeous neon yellow. It's one of my favourite colours. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. I have got Aqua Blue. This is the brightest blue I've got at the minute. Um, it's and it's not quite neon, but it's you know it'll do, it'll do. And I have got Neon Lime Green. So these are from Madam Glam, and you can save thirty percent using my code NatMug30 if you want to treat yourself. Madam Glam gel polishes are also for home users as well as professionals, so you don't have to be qualified to purchase these. And they also are like nine free, they're vegan, they're um, cruelty free. They're, honestly, they're amazing, I love these. Um, so what I'm doing is the colors that I've chosen, I'm just putting a line of each color like next to each other on my palette because we're gonna do some crazy marbling today like yeah just be careful when you put them back in the pot that you haven't touched the color like you haven't got any gel polish of the previous color on the brush because you don't want to contaminate your colors so i'm going over with the blooming gel every single nail that i do has got blooming gel on it so but i'm only going to show you me doing this first one um because it's pretty samey so we go over with the blooming gel i'm running my dotting tool through the colors that i've got don't overdo it and I'm gonna be using my ombre brush to pick up the color. If you want to, you can use a flat like gel brush and you just scoop through. Now, the best thing to do is to float it on. You don't want to brush it on. If you brush it on, it, it, won't, it won't work. Um, so you just float it on and you can sort of just mess around with it until you're a little bit happy. I wouldn't mess around with it too much. Otherwise, it will just look it will just start to look a bit like the colors all mush together and they'll start to look a bit messy and then someone said does this not make the nails bulky what you can do is do this with a gloved finger or you can do it with a lint-free wipe actually just press up against the side of the nail where the marble is and then pull off and that just takes off some of that excess gel polish don't do it with um, a naked finger um i'm gonna do it the other side as well it's this is like a do as i say not as i do situation um you shouldn't ever get uncured product on your skin i'm just a really bad influence okay then you can leave it for a few seconds before you pop it in the lamp but if you're happy with it pop it in the lamp um so again i've got my blooming gel on already um i'm picking up some product this one i'm just going to sort of go through the middle of the nail like that and yeah you can leave it to bloom for for a little bit longer or you can pop it straight in the lamp if you want to i'm gonna pop it in now yeah okay and then the next one i think i start this from the bottom yeah so this one i do from the bottom and i kind of work up so i'm just taking the product and just putting it on like different sections of the nail just to make them all slightly random Okay, I'm going to leave that to bloom for a few seconds and then pop it into the lamp. Um, this one, I don't, this isn't the last one. I've got this, look, this little bit of hair got stuck to my nail. So annoying. Um, yeah, this one, I like this one I did. Again, I've kind of gone through but left it more at the top. And then this is the last one which I kind of try to make, I try to cover the whole nail. 
and but I didn't mind if I had some um, of the rosy nude showing through I didn't mind that I kind of thought right we'll kind of fill out this whole one if I can can you see now it's this colors are starting to look a little bit I wouldn't want them to be marbled anymore because they'll start to look messy then this is Madame Glam's perfect white I didn't show you the bottom but this is their perfect white and I've put a little bit on my palette and I'm using my Natalie Mugridge detailer brush which I'm sorry to say has already sold out so I mean there will, more will be on order so don't worry we will be getting them back in they just go like bloody hot cakes I'm not quite sure honestly I'm I mean it's great I'm not you know I, I, mean, I think it's brilliant um yeah it's just the people that miss out i feel sorry for them because they have to wait a few more weeks now for the next lot to come in and um, but we're going to use the brush and the perfect white gel polish to sort of border but not not perfectly um and I, again look, i'm making the the border in bunny ears um like i'm making it wonky wobbly i'm kind of i want to follow the marble because I, I realised I'd done a set very similar to this um, last summer, I think, using a different brand's products. And I was like, oh, this is very similar to what I've done before. Um, so I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit. So this is why I'm doing the border with the Perfect White. And we're also, oops, we're also going to add um, some Mystical Mylar, which is from the new, the new glitters that were released on Tuesday which I think has sold out as well. I kind of think, I'm kind of using, I shouldn't be using products that have sold out. <laughs> but they will be back, they will be back. Don't worry. So I wanted the lines to be quite thick. I kind of like that they're quite thick, you know, the white. And then this last one, I'm just gonna put some lines through the marble. I kind of wanna follow the marble. And again, look, they're quite thick. I'm not making them thin. You can do them thin if you want. I just wanted to go with quite thick. And I mean, this set ended up quite looking quite funky. I think funky is the right word. I also want to do an 80s inspired set because um, on one of the groups I'm in, I, they, they posted a 80s mood board and I was like, oh my God, I was born in 83. So kind of like the late 80s and early 90s are sort of my you know, my growing up, probably more than the 90s actually. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, right, on the nude parts of three of these nails, I'm gonna tap the Mystical Mylar into the tacky layer of the gel polish. Now, it wasn't that tacky, but that was fine for me because I didn't want, I didn't want to, I didn't want masses on, but I just want a little bit so that it just gives it a little bit of, um, I was gonna say a little bit of sparkle, but it's not really gonna give it sparkle because we are actually gonna matte these nails. This one I done something on and I had to wipe it off, so I lost the tacky layer, but I just went over the nude bit with some base coat and then cured it. So this one has got, this is actually going into the tacky layer of base coat. There we go. So two of the nails I've left, the full marble and then that one that's second to the left. Um, this is the velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam. God, I keep saying that. I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to say the wrong name. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, so all the nails are going to be matte. I'm doing the ones without the my, uh, mystical mylar on first because I don't want to contaminate them. I should have, actually I need to ask them if I can have some more velvet matte top coat, but I should have like, I should get myself two and have one for glitters and one for like not glitters because glitters you know end up contaminating your bottle um but i i don't so anyway right we're just gonna make sure that we have top coated the entire nail um because this is matte top coat you don't want to this is nearly run out as well damn i'm gonna have to see if i've got any more but i don't think i have um you want to make sure you cover the whole nail because if you haven't you're going to end up with the nail being matte with some shiny spots that you've missed by accident so once I have finished top coating all of the nails, I'm gonna pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And this is what they look like. They're looking pretty good, but do you know what? I thought, let's just add something else. So I'm gonna use some Preciosa AB crystals. These are from the Crystal Parade. You can use my code NAT5 to save 5%. 
aren't these stunning these are they're my favorite crystals in the whole wide world um i love them so i'm using the crystal totalist gem glue and you can see i've put some little dobs on and where those little dobs are i'm going to put crystals on top now the crystals are going to be all different sizes and i'm going to do the same thing on two of the other nails that have got quite a large space of the nude that was going to cure for 60 seconds and i'm going to show you the finished set here they are oh my god um i hope you like them i actually really did i think they're quite unusual but i don't yeah anyway i like them anyway um don't forget the websites and discount codes will be in the description box below if you want to get any discount off any of the products i've used today um i hope you liked this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video which i haven't done yet so i better get my skates on <laughs>